All right, so this installation, we are a, we are a, what are we? 15,000 ruble setup. All right, only 15,000. We found a vest from a scav. We sold everything, like their guns and stuff. Made some extra cash. Well, actually, we haven't for some reason, so let's sell it. So the goal is to, like other maps, uh, get <clears throat> the stash stuff. Keep the pistols. Right, because if you have if you have a choice of like two guns, you can either bring a pistol or a um, bigger gun here. Well, if you if you can play with just a pistol, because you're poor and you don't want to buy bigger guns, then you should be selling the bigger guns, getting that cash. This already pays for one of our of our setup. Right, sell everything that you don't need. Get that extra 20,000, 30,000, 40,000 rubles. Keep the small pistols. And now because we've found two pistols, we're good. If we die, we get, get those that are free, right? Um, we don't need to bring the scav vest. You could have sold that too. But because we found a beanie and a scav vest, you know what? We're going to bring them. It's going to allow us to... Um, insure them and keep getting them back to either cover our head or give us a little bit of capacity to bring stuff. So the first run we had just a backpack and the pouch, which I've designed like this, like an alpha pouch. That's why I put these bullets in design like an alpha pouch, but we found a dead scav or we killed a scav, took his weapon, his scav vest, his beanie. Now we're going to go in and we're doing shoreline. This time we're doing shoreline because shoreline is big, has a lot of stashes. And as you can tell here, um, it's like woods, it's a big map. What we're going to do now is hide everything. And we're going to be playing on this side. I'm going to show the cage. There's a bunch. My gosh, does it have a lot of cages? And we're also going to show the meds. Sometimes you need to know where the meds are if you get shot at by scavs. We're also going to show where the scavs are. There's quite a lot in, in shoreline. We want to be uh, understanding as to where they are so we can evade them. So we, can, so we don't attract any attention on ourselves. Because the map is not that huge. Like a player hanging out here can be here in no time. The boss is also where the Sanitar is, the boss called Sanitar. He's going to be hanging out in certain places. And that will do it. Okay, so there's a lot of cages, but we're not going to be running around the whole place. Most players like to come into the resort. The resort has three uh, levels, a bunch of locked doors. You have the keys for them, you open them, and you can make the best loot in the game. So the, a lot of players are just going to run straight here and work here and die here and fight here. And we're going to hear that when we, uh, when we go around, what we are going to be doing is say you have some scav missions where you have to kill scavs. You can do that. And if you end up in this side, you can just loot stash and get out. So that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, 1930 is a great time if you know your route, but because we're going to take our time, we'll do at 730. And we're going to insure all of this. You'll notice that insuring all of this is going to cost you like 3,000 ruble, 4,000 ruble, really, really, really cheap. Most players are not going to pick any of this up. They will recognize you as someone who is starting, struggling, uh, they also do not care about a PM pistol. They do not care about a mask, a beanie, a scab vest, and a sling. They do not want it. Um, 
And we have our meds also at the bottom here. So let's go. So there's three main extractions in this map. The tunnel. Let me uh let me hide everything. The tunnel, the road to customs, the rock passage. Uh, people are already cringing here. You can use the other the other two here. It's just that the pier boat, you literally have to pass here where the boss might be and players are in order to end up on a pier that has close to zero protection. And you have to stay there for like 30 seconds. Absolutely not my favorite spot to go in. If this is really a bottle, a bottleneck. That's a bridge and that's a river. Can't cross the river unless you cross on the bridges here and there and here. So this is a bottleneck. People like to camp here. People like to fight here. There's scavs here. There's scavs here. So it's not the best <clears throat> and more safe. And then you end up here and it does. it's not an extraction. So you have to go back out. It's kind of dangerous. So if you spawn on this side of the map, you will either be able to extract that rock passage or pier. Um, but we will come to road to customs or CP, CP temporary. And if you happen to spawn on this side of the map, you can either go rock passage or pier, whichever is open. But we will mostly just go to tunnel. You will find some campers here too, it's happening. But it's not the strat here. The strat here is not necessarily to camp. People camping here are trying to get those chatty boys who fought here and have a lot of gear and they're trying to stop them. You'll have the uh, occasional uh, grenade throw at you. Uh, some people want to uh, kind of recognize you as a small dude, kind of throw a, a grenade and see what happens. But basically that's the idea. Um, you you uh, spawn on the left. You'll go to customs. If you spawn on the right, you'll go to tunnels. But on our way there, if we happen to pass by the rock passage, and if it's open with the green smoke, we uh, if we're if our pockets are full, we're we're gonna stop there. And that's mostly what the the route is, something like this. Okay. <clears throat> So let's find out where we uh, where we are. So this map, unlike woods, unlike interchange, the outer of the mall, this map has a lot of scavs. And uh, once you get into shoreline, you want to identify where the scavs are. They're mostly where the infrastructures are. That's the power station. Uh, that's a gas station, the dock, a uh, weather station, port. But some these guys are in the mountains. Okay. Cage, meds, scavs. Let's find out where we are. So I recognize the spawn because I've been here quite a lot. This is the edge. Whenever you see a gate like this, this fence, this is the fence here. It's on the, along the side and this side also, all the way here. So now we're trying to figure out if we're left or right of the map. Let's just go inwards a little bit. Try to get some intel onto what's what's what what this is. This is the sunken village. And it's exactly where we want to, to be. The sunken swamp village is this part here. And you can have scavs in the middle of it and above it. So the middle of it around here and above it, which is just on with these rocks over there. 
Also, if you have a compass, you can tell, you know, if you look around, that this fence seems to be going along that side. And you can tell this is the west. So basically, you're being boxed in from the west side. But this is where you are here. Great, because the village sunken here and the bottom village, which is still stable, have a lot of cages, and that's exactly where we want to go into. So let's go. We're going to zoom in on it. The sunken village has five stashes. I'm going to start with the top right one, which is in the, the box, kind of, of the map. It's actually a fence. So this is the top right of the village. Uh, there's scavs over there, <clears throat> just a little bit above. Just want to be a little bit careful and... Hurry, kind of. They do see you from pretty far. This is a stash or a box just above the stash that we're looking for. So we're looking for a hidden stash, and it's actually in here. In the middle. So this stash is this one right here. Wow, we found a gazelle. That's amazing. It's armor class 5. It will protect you and your body a lot. But it sells on the market for 120,000. 120,000. And our build costs like, you know, 15, 20,000. So this is great. We're going to move south to the next stash which is just under the church. If you look on the map, you'll see the church is right here. Just under that is the cage. Now you'll notice in my voice that even if I die, a lot of players could be like mad and pissed. And like, oh my God, I can't believe I just lost 120,000. This is fucking bullshit. Look, man, you started the game with 15,000s worth of, of equipment. Just go back in. The luck, uh, it's a luck that we found this, you know. Just under the search, the, the church, in the corner of the tree. Tactical sport, alt, click, press alt and click to equip them. A battery is great for your quests. You'll notice that the sling fits the battery. So that's also a reason why I love the sling. So we'll be bringing that for the quest. I think one of the quests you need to find a battery for someone. Then another quest you need to buy five batteries for someone else. Anyway, you need a car battery. Just find one, take it, get out with it. Moving to the west, we're going to the third stash, which is just inside this little part of the house. And you know, you're going to find a route where there's a lot, there's not like, it doesn't slow you down as much. We're in this one right here. Base shield, um, armor five. So this will sell on market for a good price. We could trade here our beanie for a cap. Right, we look the same, but that was free. We're gonna get back the beanie from insurance. So you you can find a better route by going around maybe, but we're just gonna cut through here. Go to the next stash. Which is 
right in here. If you ever find them to be opened, we're going to trade our cap here for this helmet. I'm going to take the fan. If you ever find them to be open, it means someone else is doing them. So you got to be careful. You can normally jump over this, this fence. All right, so that was this one next to the house. The next one is past the houses. So past these houses. Not this one, but past this, these houses. All right, couldn't jump. I'm, I'm, I can't run. So this is not going to be the route to take. Like You can go on the bridge. Doesn't matter. So you'll see a little fence here very edge of the the sunken village this this house is pretty nice compared to these you know but on the edge of this fence is a stash it's this one i take a lighter hey we found a semi-automatic gun we're gonna take that alt t looking at pso ammo nearly full Press B, make sure it's on full auto. Sight. If you press Alt, it stabilizes your aim. Hold your breath. All of this will be the key to success. But now we're going to make our way down because I want to show you the rest of the village. But normally we could try to extract now because we're pretty full. Open this. So this house is right here. Doesn't it's not marked by anything, but it has a good amount of loot. You can even find fuel here. It's a blue tang, but it's not this one. Stuff here, stuff there, a little bit of nails and anything here. I love the toolboxes. They often have material that we need for craft and stuff. A water filter. It's exactly the kind of loot we're looking for. I haven't been taking care of my my pouch very well. This is going to be really worth. What else is really worth? I'm going to drop all of this with the face shield. Because I think that's going to be selling for a good price at the vendors. I'm going to take everything back. Can't take the splint. Is that okay? That's okay. I'm okay. We don't need the bulb, but you do when you start your <clears throat> hideout. Bolts, they sell for a good price. Let's leave. All right, the village. So I like to go around here, the back. We're going to the side, side of the map here. look at the village it's okay if i die right now like my goal is not to make money with you just to show you but honestly if you're full like this you know and you need a car battery then get out just extract find your extraction double o go to the other end of the map ccp road to customs you know ccp road to customs extract We will get there, but we'll do the village first. All right. So first cage is actually here. There's two sides of the village. It's divided by the road. So this cage is right here. There's two cage on this side of the village. Right. And there's two and there's four on the other side. Okay, we could pick up stuff here if we don't have a car battery that we care about. There's a coat here. This is the kind of area that other players like because there's loot and stuff. So let's go to this one here.
gonna go in the back area. If there is player, you would find the cage just being open. Um, if players don't open the cage and they're inside the village, that's fine, that's possible, but it's it's kind of surprising. So here we'll have a choice. Say we already have the our battery. We would drop uh, some of this stuff. Uh, let me just move on here. Bulbs are useful for the missions. Let's say you did do the mission, then we can just this. I think the face shield is worth more than the filter. The vendors, but they are worth more to me as a player because I use them. They're worth uh, 100,000 each. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot. Okay, next one. So you could do, you could go through the houses. There's some stuff in it, some bags. Maybe if we stop here and look at the, uh, the map, like the duffel bags. We'll see that the houses have like a duffel bag each. I'm in big trouble. Hey, for the sake of the video. So we just got killed by the scavs here. They're near the... What is this called? Gas station? It's like a abandoned gas station right here. I mean, it's my fault that I was like right next to them. I kind of forgot about them. Went right here to pause and think and talk. Next. But that's okay. That's all okay. Because we didn't get to make, yes, the extra money, but we spent, what, 20000 on the build? And how much do we have now in our container? I'm just going to wait and apply here. Right. I'm betting we have 50,000 worth in our container. Right. Which is twice as much as the build. And as long as you'll be making mistakes like this, <laughs> then you got to be using that container, you know, for that. Which I still do. I still do. Mistakes. Like that was a mistake of position. One mistake in Tarkov can get you killed. Right. <clears throat> We're going back. A nice day today. I like to spend it inside. So we were just here. There's more stuff in all of these buildings. But the thing is, the more time you spend, the more there's chance that players also pass by. So what do we have? I have a Walder filter, face shield. See how much they are here to give us for that. That's car first. You're looking for cash, which will give you 15,000, but it's best to keep it on market. It's worth 90,000. Um, you can't sell it to market because you died with it. So like instead, if you had put like enough Talmos cup, if you would find it, you'll get 50,000 or even a fuel container, which will give you 40,000. These are honestly items that I do put in my pouch that, so that if I die, she gives me more, even though that's useless, you know, kind of compared to a, a water filter for players. 
<clears throat> You'll know what's worth what what they give you for something. Uh, let's see what he gives me for the the face shield. A fifty thousand ruble. Fifty thousand. Well, Ragman is one of the best, dude. He fucking gives you so much cash for your fucking perils, man. And for the sake of the video, I'm gonna make my players cringe here. I'm gonna sell this for 15,000. And that makes a total of 65,000. Right, profit. So we actually profited from dying. We'll take a pistol that we uh, found somewhere We're doing this kind of type of work. We'll put some additional ammo into it. We'll buy additional mag. Put bullets into it. We found these bullets from Prepper also. Right. <clears throat> As we looked at Oh, I'm searching. As we look at ballistics, <clears throat> the wiki, Escape from Tarkov ballistics, the 918, these are pretty shit bullets, um, but they will go through a paka, and you most likely just want to hit scavs in the face. So it's good to practice with a single pistol and hit scavs in the face. That's how I got my aim. Which, as you can tell, is not the best, though. So. Okay. What do we need? What are we missing? Backpack. Uh, a little mask that we found. Put a little backpack. We'll put our meds here. Right. Bandage. March. Light bleed. Heavy bleed. Cheese, because it's cheap. Gives you some health points when you're low. And a splint in case you break a leg. You want to uh, go faster. <clears throat> Here, if you would have an additional body armor, cheap body armor, Zook, Paka, you can put them here. A little backpack from Ragman. Sling, I mean. Boom. Guys, ready. Go. Cheap. Right back into shoreline. Yeah, ensuring all of this, 2000 only. You're gonna get all of it back when you die. <clears throat> You'll never go broke with such techniques, you know? Impossible. It's impossible. But players have no excuse. <clears throat> if they go broke, it's just because they weren't careful enough when they didn't have much money. Yep. Map. I prefer to spawn on the other side, then come here and finish my route to the tunnels. If things get heated, just leave, go to the tunnels. There's also scabs here. But it's definitely not, not my preferred map to loot, because it's so full of scabs. You go in without an arm or anything. I much prefer woods for, for, for a task like this. Or we just we're just trying to get like half a million or a million or you know to do something that we need to be doing. I 
would call this the emergency stash run. Where you have like 25,000 rubles to your name. And you're like, okay, I need to, uh, I need to think here. Even 100,000 rubles, like... I can barely operate. He can barely operate with a hundred thousand ruble. Need to be uh, seriously careful. You need to make a build knowing that there's a very likely possibility that you will die here. And need to be doing this two, three times. That's why having a build worth 20,000 rubles makes a lot of sense. <clears throat> I'll show you some more stash, but as you can tell, there's some everywhere. You know, and some of them are far and few in between. These are not necessarily stash that I go to very often. But this one is under the tank. When you see the tank on the bridge, there's a stash under everybody's stop set. Kind of easy to stop. We're going to go around. We're going to go around. Hey, what are you doing? We can show the sniper's calves too. They don't have that long a reach. They do exist. All right, well, good news. We just landed <clears throat> next to the village. Like, there's no other village like this. Perfectly well stable village. We just uh, loaded right here on this side. So, houses with stuff in it. Let's just go in. You know, we're looking at a duffel bag. <coughs> Most players are going to do this, this type of route. I mean, this is your village. You spawned here. A lot of players did not spawn here. They spawned somewhere else. They're doing other things. This is your village. Go through. Cigarettes are useful for a quest. Another duffel bag. There's like two stage, two stories on this place. Car battery. If you need it for the mission. Take it. Leave. These little barns, sometimes you find stuff on or in the corners or in the sides here, in the sides right here. Okay. And the game is telling me there's a med cave right here. As you can tell in the map where we are. Med keys. Nothing special. You could find like better med gear. To replace your meds with. So that's this house. We were just here and we escape, and this is the road. The road that we are on. There's a weapon box here. If you can jump here, you can break the window if it makes sound. There's a door. Ammos and Parts that you don't recognize are not too important. The uh, important parts are like sights and scopes and lights and the high tech ones. All right, <clears throat> you go in here. There's a box, <clears throat> or like in this place here. Scissors go for market. Good price. You can use them. Go around here. There's a stash. This is the first stash right here. What is this? Runuts. Oh, wow. A SIG MCX 300. So we're looking at a weapon that's worth 40,000, 60,000 on market. <clears throat> we're actually going to change to it. We're going to look inside the barrel. Alt T. Half. The mag is full. We want to be full auto by pressing B. 
So that's it for that stash. Um, you can go. I, I suggest you always go around the houses and figure out what's worked what. Stash here. Next to the trash. Red gunpowder. That's always good. So let's just uh, work on our pouch here. The so red gunpowder is worth eighty thousand. That's more than one thousand and one thousand. And the scissor is worth 20,000. But yeah, you should just bring it. Yeah, that's good. And we're going to put this here. Gonna put the bandage and the Esmarch. We're going to bind them to four and five. If you're bleeding, hit four or five, smash it. You'll heal. Well, you'll, you'll put a bandage on. Next stash, you'll see it's near the road, which we are near the road. I want to show you that it's inside here. We're near the scavs too, where we just died. Police is useful, nails can sell, M855 are good bullets. Uh, you can use with an M4 if you need a mission. Uh, with an M4, there are. You can use M855 to kill some scavs. Kind of going slowly. Listening. But, um... Mostly, most likely a scav. Or if it's a player, oh, it's a scav. is right there. Hey, <laughs> I mean, that was kind of lucky. He didn't shoot us in the face. I'm going to take a look at him. Gonna take his rig. Take his gun. Take his Momex. Take his splint. going to search here so we can reload his gun. Now we have more space to work with. <clears throat> and we have an extra weapon system. Remember this place? We were just here. There's this, a loot stash over there. And a stash right here. Right? So just because there's, there's scavs and we don't have an armor, I'm just going to come here. We have an IFAC. Worth uh, 12,000 or something for meds. Now we could go around the whole village again, which we've seen. What we're going to do now... We're gonna, we're kind of ready to leave. We're gonna move out and kind of try to get to Rock Passage because I assume as a new player you would be a little bit excited right now. Your stash is good, you've got some items, you've got an extra rig, you've got an extra weapon, or maybe you do feel that it's not enough. <clears throat> we're gonna pass this stash over there, keep going north. Gonna take a look at the village. Take a look at the house. We can brave the elements. Some players would like to, to, to loot here too. If the door is open, I'm fucking off. But it's not. Take a look around. This. WD-40 may be a mission, but not really a big deal. What was this? Chlorine. Chlorine, I think. A mission, too. Nothing on the bed. The chair. Sometimes here. There. There. A little bit of matches. Chlorine gunpowder. But this is also worth a lot of money. Uh, 80000 each. Only the blue one is worthless. So we're gonna put that here instead. Of the scissor, the scissor was 20,000. Now at this point, we might be really interested to leave, but these are saved items. You can just sell them. These are great bullets. Whenever you see a black tip like this, these are the best bullets, mostly in the category. We'll bring that. <clears throat> we'll just go 
go around the village again. This was this stash. Next one, you remember? I hope you're you're loading your game and following with me in an offline raid at least. Really get a grasp as, as to where things are. Feel it for yourself. This is the second one to the left. A great armor. Armor four. It's not great, but it's it's there. A PS round, they're good rounds, but we're gonna spare a little bit. Uh, we also have a two splint here and a splint here. So we're going to get rid of this. And we're going to keep this purple item. Because they sell for good money on uh, at a trader. Any purple background will sell for some money. Next one is right there. Inside the little shed thing, you remember? Right next to the house. As this is loading, what's happening is I'm looking here for things that are not worth much. Like, this is worth less. This is worth less, you know? So I'm ready to kind of give up something that's worth less, right? Um... Additional M855. We'll top it up. Uh, we could use the bulb. If we don't have an armor, we could bring the Paka. We would have a little bit bigger bag. We would bring the Paka. Oops. There's a mission here where you have to touch a dead body, I think. As you can tell, it's really calm. Really, really calm. In this section. You're you're only going to be facing someone who's also doing the, the loot runs. Or maybe they're hoping to come here at the end of their session to loot. But we'll be gone by then. We're just going through. Another weapon system. Uh, we would take it. It costs 8,000, which is 4,000 per square. And all of our items are actually worth more than, than that. And since we still have some scavs to go through, I'm going to prior prioritize keeping the bandages and the Esmarch. And it's our usual system, so it's not that important. We just buy it because it's free-ish. Last stash, where is it? In the rectangle. It's in the fence area, kind of. I don't. There's no fence. I don't see any fence. Right there. Cool. So again, a purple item worth more than most of, of these things. We're going to keep... We're going to let go of the bandage because the IFAC also heals. We're going to bring this purple item. We're going to stay here for a sec. So we're moving into this section. We're going to cross the river to go on this side. As soon as we cross the river, it's going to be much more safe. This is the most dangerous area. Players will chill there. There's scavs. You know. This map is clearly separated by a river with three, four, five points across through, and that's it. You'll notice that I'm going under these scavs, but where the line turns here, the electrical lines are other scavs. This is where it turns. I don't know if you can tell from, from here in the video, but the lines here are turning. 
There's scavs inside a little bit, so we're going just over them. They're not seeing us. They're not hearing us because we're too far. So we just moved in between the two here. We're kind of staying far from the middle area. One would think that it's high traffic because it's got less attention. It's not that high traffic because most players actually want to contact other players. But they'll go in the middle. This is one of the plane crash for a mission. Just so happens to be north of the map or on the west side of the river. No, that's not good. Player. We're not bleeding. We're just going to take our... Uh, our energy back. Oh, he shot me. Nice job. Nice job on him. Didn't think he would see me. But he saw me. So basically, that was a player chilling, um, you know, in the middle area here, kind of waiting to see, um, you know, who's a a leaving the resort from this side, which is a high traffic to leave. Who's crossing the river, right? It's kind of in the middle of everything. It's kind of hearing the action. Um. And he just so happened to look that way and we were there, right? So who is going to be looking that way when they have all the action that way, right? But hey, that's the kind of good move on his part, bad luck on our part. Next. <sighs> we're going to have to cross that river at some point. Anything could have happened there, like he could have shot too many bullets, had to reload, move to a different location, took cover. During that time, we would have ran away. You know, he would have waited for contact, but we would have been gone, you know. But uh, no, he took a good shot. He knew we were in that bush, took a good shot, could have laid down, right? Put their gunpowder... <laughs> maybe mechanic wants that nope maybe she wants that yeah so she gives you 20,000 each these on market are worth 80 70, 80 but you can't sell them if you're dead you can use them though in the hideout right to craft something that's worth a lot of money. You're not going to be making more money with the hideout, but most of the time, but you can convert it into something that you can sell on the market. Right, so without being too extensive, uh, this is one of my favorite crafts, green gun powder. These are pretty expensive items, but they make the best bullet. What else can you use it here? The red, that's too many red gun powder to do this. You could use it here with some cheap bullets to make better bullets and sell those on market. Oh, that's pretty cheap too, and you can make a bullet, a lot of them actually, to sell on market. That's a pretty good deal. That's why you need your scav junk box. Big box, and you can put all kinds of stuff in it, including the powder that you can't sell on market. But if you need the money, you need the money. Can you 
selling. So I honestly think that the two purple items that we had would have been worth mm, more or as much, really. These are the good moves. At least we're not like, we actually have cash to do something. So what are we going to do? We're going to go again. Take this little pistol that we found in a raid. It's asking us for 919. Go see Prepper. The 919 are the dirt looking like. You can buy uh, 20 or 200. Put that here, here. Bring the basic meds. Bandage. Splint as March cheese. What else? Backpack. <clears throat> here you uh, you have 18 bullets in this little gun. You don't need an extra, an extra 18 bullets, I think. If you use all of them, just run. Just run. You need a bandana. Or a hat. Thank you. You want some swag, you can put the glasses, additional swag, pretty cheap. Uh, sling, thank you. Went to shop. This, we got uh, the hat. Do you see the hat? There it is. You're looking good. We're looking professional. What's wrong with playing the game like this? Absolutely nothing. It's actually a good way to play. Everything's here. We got our meds. It literally cost us 3000 to insure all of this. We're all going to get this back. Let's go. <coughs> Hopefully you can get on the other side so I can show you. Uh, these stashes here on that side. Just feel free to... Uh, Skip it. You should be going offline doing this with me at the same time. You will never forget again because you did it. There's quite a lot on this side. But I'll often just stop at them if I if they happen to be on my way. Yeah. And that's what I would suggest for players. Have a map like this. Know where the scabs are. Where the cages are. Do your mission that you have to do in shoreline with half this up. And see if you can't just like find one or more stash every time. You know, as you're passing through an area, say you're passing here. You can be like, hmm, is there any stash here? And you can kind of find where this one is. Or this one. And that information will stay with you every time. Not getting anywhere close to the the resort as players come in and out of it and you might come across them <clears throat> you do have a mission or two here we have to like come here and fucking drop the bomb or some shit i don't know terrorist win
the missions ask you to kill some snipers. These are two snipers on the map that you can kill. You run the map back and forth, you kill them. Get your own sniper. Right. And as you're doing all of this, you might as well loot the stashes. On your way in or out, you know? This is really it. That's the key, is just being efficient with your run. Saying, oh, is this a good time for my mission? Maybe not. Let's do a stash run instead. All right. Well, we just happen to be on this side now. Perfect. As you look on the edge here, if you check your compass, it tells you that this is on the east. The east is blocked. So here the east is blocked. You know, you're up here. There's a stash north right here. It's just next to a bush. You take a look. We're just going to go down and look at these stashes. Because they are... Mostly unchallenged. I think the, the right way to make this video would have been to cross on the other side of the river and then do the stashes on that side. You know, and when I was on the other side, cross the river and then do the stashes. But we're in this... Right, this is where the fence starts turning. Outwards, just like this here. Just on top of this rock here, big tree, little stash. So this would be that one. Veritas guitar pick is worth something. Bring the lunchbox, because we do have to eat at some point, right? There's another stash right here. It would be under this next pylon, electricity one. But most of the time, you don't go that far. You might come from the resort and do it. So after this one, what I normally do is go up to the tower. This is like still pretty far from everyone. You know, the resort is over there and the weather station is over there. You kind of want to cover yourself in case someone is looking that way. It's quite open. Cover yourself with this bush. Look into the stash. Ah, <gasps> someone passed by. What opened it already? Maybe it was my fault. I didn't do it. Okay, so we missed this one. But it's okay. We're going to keep doing the other ones. I don't know them all. Uh, if you follow the old rain rail, which is red on the map. <clears throat> It starts. Or is it a road? What are we following here? This is helpful. Basically, it's hard to understand, but there's there's a road and if like southeast of this first stash. Let's make sure we're southeast. This first stash. This. Ah, there's the road. Under the road, the road turns. <coughs> Under the road, right here. The stash. And if you're more patient than me, you'll find it. Probably near a tree, near the rock. 
I don't know, but it's useful to find it. Maybe you'll be more lucky than me. Eh? Definitely in this area. I gotta show you three more that are, I find more, more important. So this is the extraction road to customs. If you go on the side of it. Oh, let's just go. Uh, I'm gonna run away. I'm not gonna take any chance. We're gonna go to the stash along the river. You'll notice that it's in a bush. So the scab is not gonna chase us. Oh, that's too far. Keep going. Okay, this. This cab ain't chasing us, just protecting that bush right here. See, someone did come by. So that one is this one. Probably just someone who uh, spawned here. You do meet some players here sometimes, you just cross each other. Especially when you spawn. We're now moving south to the two other stashes next to each other. So this tower is where the scabs are. There could be scabs inside or on top of the mountain. If you just stay along the uh, river, you'll be fine. At the very edge of the map, which we are here. There's a stash under the box here. Very lucky with the car batteries today. A pleak is additional armor, it will sell. So honestly, man, I've tried all my life to find these two. But this one is the one we were clearly at. Apparently there's another one here. But I've never... I was never able to find it. It's just along the train track. And it's just before the two gates, this and that, I think. You know, and it could be like here. Can't, can't find it. Or here. Yeah, kind of the regular, we're looking for something kind of thing. Could be here, could be there. far I can take this. I really, really cannot find it. Oh, I'm, I'm down. I'm, I'm cool. It's okay. I'm, I'm cool. Maybe it was taken out. Maybe I'm just blind. <clears throat> like, say you want to get out to road to customs. Maybe you passed here or there or you know, you've got different stash to stop at before you leave. I'm going to take a look at these here. I'm going to get out the mine area. It's a large map. you got to be patient. But... It's the kind of map where you can get lost really easily if someone's shooting you <clears throat> and uh, you can make your money and get out. of the map we see a dock area fenced there's one stash near the scavs yeah we're totally gonna go in sometimes you'll see the scav walk along this road here but this is where it is right next to the tires 
we're looking at this stash right here. I'm gonna trade our hat for another hat. All right. What this is gonna do is you're gonna get your hats back for insurance. You will never have to buy them again. You keep getting them in insurance. Next one is near the rock here. You can see it's just north. Just north of the last one. could drop your pistol take their pistol see that won't cost you any space by the way let's rework this thing put the applique here All right something like that Two, four five I'm gonna look at this it's about half PSTGZH. And because it's anything else but a PM pistol, you know you have more than 8 bullets. So about half means 10 bullets. You know? You're, you're going to be fine. You're going to get that pistol back from insurance. Nobody's going to take that. Ooh. Ooh. So that came from the weather station. Great spot to snipe. A big sniper. It's extremely dangerous to go close to. I could have just fought the scavs there. You should pass by the weather station. Uh, there's a vault. Not a vault, but a safe. A fine little spot to, to drop by. Med case and a safe. This one is near a tree, I think. Not gonna stop necessarily, but it's a great spot. But it's, as you can tell, it's kind of dangerous with the sniper. This is under the tank. You'll see it once you cross a tank on the bridge. It's right under. You can barely miss it because it's so obvious. I'm just gonna pass by here. See how dangerous it is? surprised these are rooms that players like because there's two safes you can find valuables i'm not going to challenge it there could be sc scavs and stuff here gonna go over like that oh well our legs are dead mistakes were made i don't have a cms kit it's gonna be a long walk to the extraction and that's just very normal you can't heal it it needs a CMS kit, and surgery kit, which some players carry in their pouch to deal with those situations. If you break a leg, you're going to have the same animation. Uh, this is the gas station where the scabs are. Right, so gas station. There's a little beach here. We're going to go through it. Oh, you guys recognize this. You recognize this walk. You know exactly what this is. This is... Uh, oh, shit. Fucked up. Here I go, wasting my time. 
little cage here. I like it. I step to the right here because it's more protected than standing on the left where your legs are exposed. Again, ammo with a black tip. Interesting. I take that. I'm gonna drink some juice. This bandage is better than the other. We're just gonna bring it and refuel our bandages if we make it out. I don't find it worth to bring the painkillers every time just for a situation like this. Literally gonna take us twice the time to get there. And uh, I don't care to die either, you know? <clears throat> so we're just gonna hold W. And we're going to be uh, steady because we don't want these calves to lock on us. See that tunnel here is one of the extractions and it doesn't have question marks. But I, I often choose it. We could have tried port, but I don't want to waste my time going to port, coming back. I have to go to tunnels. Uh, there could be stuff in the trunks of the cars. There's not enough stuff in the trunk of the cars. Mm. This side, the little house is quite the uh, little island. There's good stuff in it. It has to kill. But some players will notice that you went on there. That's a scab over there. Some players will notice. They will camp. Exit. It's just a, a bridge. Made up of a ship. So some players might wait for you to... To... Uh, Go through the fucking bridge again and die. But if it's like a really a calm time in the map, late, there's not a lot of players, you don't have a lot of loot on you, then I would definitely stop there. <clears throat> Next cage is coming up here. This rock. And you can tell these are scavs by the way they're waiting. They're not moving around crazily like me. They're just really stable movements. Run, stop. Run again, stop. <clears throat> Purple item. Happy to see it. I'm gonna drop this. Take this. Just like that. Circuit board is fine too. Drop the lint, I think. Take the circuit board. Take the vase. Honestly, the vase might replace this. I'm not sure. I think it's worth uh, about 50,000. But if we make it out to the extraction over there, we'll be 50,000 up. Man, I remember doing this so much. Black out a limb, break a leg. You just walk like that to the extraction. It only takes an additional uh, five minutes. And you'll, you'll make it out most of the time. If a player fights me now, you could say, oh, if only I could run. But the truth is they might have been just camping at the top of this fucking mountain here and fucking saw me walking around like that. I mean, any player who sees this man having the hardest time moving. You know, should be uh, 
They'd be like uh, fucking with me, you know what I mean? Go behind this rock, start shouting shit. Go behind that rock, run, shout shit. You know what I mean? Not necessarily come up to me and fucking destroy me. Like, <clears throat> that's just inexperienced players noticing that I'm I'm not able to leave here, you know? That's a scav. Hit me in the face, bro. Please, don't. Please, I beg you. Do not. Oh, I think I'm able to heal. <clears throat> kind of using the terrain, knowing that they, they're not really guy going over that terrain as an AI. They have a hard time knowing what to do with it. Kind of staying on the road. I'm going to try and use that terrain to my advantage. Don't really want to cause a raucous either because I don't have time to reach the extraction before like a player would come by. So I'm going to really try and splinter sell my way there. Basically going the same speed as if I'd be standing up. But hey, this is what you have to do when you're a scrub. You know? When you're really, really, really trying to make a, a buck here. Using this wall of dirt. It's a dangerous area, man. There's, there's, there are some scavs. Player can be over there too, wait, waiting on, on us. And players do come and extract here. All kinds of bad looks right there. Like he stopped in the road. I then I shot, but he moved just at the right time. And then he was a little bit teleporting, so I knew that the server wasn't on my side for this fight. I tried to shoot him a few more. Then I ran out. <sighs> and that's all okay. That's all good. What do we have in our pouch again? I think like a armor thingy and the fuck nose. Hopefully that give you a good uh, round around shoreline. Give you an idea of, of where to take some of that stash. As you make your missions in shoreline and just enjoy the the map and learn the map. It's a tough map. A lot of a lot of scabs really. A lot of scabs. You know, when there's scabs at the extractions, you know what I mean? Pretty, pretty scab heavy, dude. Let's find out how much this, that, and that is worth. Uh, start with her, for money wise. So, the Veritas, 34. This is 8, so that's 42. Armor would go to Ragman. 42 and 38. It's 80,000. <clears> 80,000. How sad can you be, man? You know what I mean? All right. We'll be looking at the... Uh, at the other videos. We'll be doing uh, woods also. In the more detailed... I'm sure there's like other videos that you, you might be interested in. I'll do other other stashes too. Just click on the right one. 